I'm gonna write to them. So, uh. That is actually. I'll oh, probably man. put that as a. Yeah. Okay, we have a problem. Man the panic stations. Those. Settle. We've had so many of those over the years that uh, we ran down and uh, thought we had six, but we uh, didn't. Now we've got a huge problem. So, uh, not having any clamps, uh, I'm going to make them. They're three millimeter thick, 25 millimeter wide clamps. Uh, nominal uh, pipe size 140. I can't get them anywhere. Um, and the supplier that originally supplied them, Binder Clamps, doesn't supply them anymore. So I have to make them. And they're not easy to make. I can't roll them. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm going to cut this out, out of this solid wood. I'm going to put a bit of metal backing to it, like that. A bit of metal backing to it. And then I'm going to cut another one out for the inside shape, less the thickness of the clamp. Put some metal backing on it. And then I'm going to put the rod in there, the, the strap in there, the 3mm strap I've got. I've got some. And uh, I'm going to use the press to um, try and press it down, get it as close as I can, and bend the tags over. Oh, sh didn't need this. Anyway, mm. what have I done? <laughs> uh, I'm going to squash one of these in there and uh, see what happens. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I've got to do it. Okay, it's just like that's just the way it is. Okay, it's just the way it has to be. Thinking about this freaking hoist. It's got slightly dodgy. Pretty good, it's only going to need a real small tweak about there. Worked out a little bit better than I thought, so that's a, that's a, a plus. Take them down the electric, get them plated, get them plated. Uh, yeah, that's um, making a set of uh, saddle clamps. Um, uh, I hope I don't have to use that thing again, and I can get some more of these off the shelf if I ever need them again. Uh, hopefully that can rust in the shed, but uh, you never know. Might need it again. Well, that's the part of it too. I made this up to uh, have a, you know, yeah. Anyways, <coughs> yeah. It's got to be done, it's got to be done. Had to have the saddles. So, on to the next job. Okay, what we're doing here is putting in a door switch. And the reason we've got a door switch is that we have to turn on a relay to power this system only when they're actually working on it. So we use two relays, a five pin and a four pin. I won't go there over the operation of it, I'll just show you there's a diagram. We've got a door switch here, 
relay one turns on the coil and power here, okay? That provides power also, the, the output down here. When this relay closes, power comes into the system here. And then it goes to the five pin relay. The five pin relay outlet turns uh, uh, the relay on when we've got power, when there's no pressure in it, okay? So this turns on to the NO relay and nothing happens down here. When this has air in it, okay, and it disconnects this and de-energizes this relay, we've still got power up here. So the power from here goes through the normally closed terminals down to the flasher to flash the light and the hour meter to run the hour meter because we have an hour meter on there that uh, is run the whole time that the light's flashing to say the system's being used because we service them every three months based on date or hours of use, whichever comes first. It's a corporation, so they've got much equipment, so they have to have a blanket situation where they've got service schedules for every last piece of equipment they've got, so that nothing goes in the radar. So, so I've drilled a hole for that one, all right? So we shove it back up there, this way, drill our second hole for the fixing screw, which is also the earthing screw. Fixing screw on on the nut. Nut goes on there for our earth. I'm just going to ground it properly. I don't just ground it onto the cabinet. I could, but... Uh, who knows what's going on there, so... Okay, so I put that on there. And then that'll go on to our ground. The first one's from our door switch. This is from our, our doodle, our uh, pressure switch. So we've got the door switch. ASMC or 87A, which is the center one. Okay, the center one. Now, we've got to have an hour meter. So we're gonna need some hour meter outlets, uh, which is two spade terminals for those. Like earth. And earth. So we've got a whole bunch of earth to go together. A four pin relay, we've got our flasher, our door switch, so when our door, door switch uh, is open, that turns on, turns on that relay, turns on that relay, then when power is disconnected, when the pressure reaches uh, above 3 PSI, that turns that one off, which then sends the power from this one to the flasher relay and the hour meter. Power's, power's hooked up, okay. Switches says doors closed, so when the doors open, both relays start up. Okay, so now this one's turned on and we've put power to here and turned it on. Now I'm going to simulate uh, when the air pressure comes in and shuts this off. And there we go, we've got flashing. We've got flashing. So when the mask comes down and the air is expelled, and this shorts out like an oil pressure switch would, flashing turns off. And then when they shut the actual top of the roof, that turns off. So anytime that's flashing, I know, I know that this is uh, turned on for the um, hour meter anytime that's flashing because they're the same outputs. So uh, yeah, all good, done. So now we're gonna make the cover. Goes around here.